مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم Welcome again to our Gateway to Arabic series. Today's lesson is going to be from page 58 as we are finalizing our studies of book 5. The subject of today's lesson is Cardinal Numbers. Al-A'dad al-Asliya. Al-A'dad al-Asliya. What we're going to do is we're going to make maybe three videos to go through all these rules because they can be sometimes complex. Let's, let's deal with the, the numbers known as uh, stand-alone numbers. Al-Adadu al-Mufrat, stand-alone numbers. Wa al min wahidin ila ashara. And this is number one to number ten. As a starting point, let's remind ourselves that the, these numbers, they are gender-based. They have masculine version and they have feminine version. So let's, let's go through the uh, number one and number ten in both genders first. So, number one in the masculine, wahidun, wahidun. Feminine, wahidatun. Number two, masculine, ifnani. Feminine, ithnatani. Number three, masculine, thalathun. Feminine, thalathatun. Number four, masculine, arba'un. Feminine, arba'atun. Number five, masculine, khamsun. Feminine, khamsatun. Number six, masculine, setun. Uh, feminine, setatun. Number seven, masculine, sab'un. Feminine, sab'atun. Number eight, masculine, thamanin. Feminine, thamaniyatun. Number nine, masculine, tis'un. Feminine, tis'atun. Number ten, masculine, ashrun. Feminine, Asharatun. So they are Wahidun, Wahidatun, Ithnani, Ithnatani, Thalathun, Thalathatun, Arbaun, Arbaatun, Khamsun, Khamsatun, Sittun, Sittatun, Sabaun, Sabaatun, Thamanin, ثمانية تسع تسعة عشر عشرة. That established now. The reason for that is you need to know that uh, uh, when we come into number three, number to number ten, they are opposite in gender. We we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's address ourselves to number one first. Number one and number two, they are always in uh, agreement with the gender of the item being counted. Why? Because number one, you don't need to use them when you are counting a noun. Because a noun, when we say a boy, that's mean one boy anyway. Waladun, a boy, or one boy. Pintun, uh, a girl, one girl. So if you have to use number one, in this case, you need to mention it after the noun as an adjective it's like as an emphasis as a stress to say alone or only kind of things so waladun wahidun bentun wahidatun and that's why they are in agreement always in that format because it's an adjective so waladun wahidun bentun wahidatun so i can say hadara uh, waladun Wahidun, one boy attended. Hadarat, bintun wahidatun, one girl attended. That they attended the party. Uh, I saw a boy, one, one boy. You say, ra'aytu, that's I saw, ra'aytu waladan, wahidan, I saw one boy. 
It's well done because it's an uh, object here and it's accusative case ending. Ra'aitu waladan wahidan. I saw a one girl. Ra'aitu bintan wahidatan. I saw a one girl. So one girl. Uh, I sat with one boy. Jalastu ma'a waladin. That's a genitive because of ma'a is a preposition. A noun after it will be in genitive uh, genitive case ending. Jalastu ma'a waladin wahidin. And I sat with a girl, one girl. Jalastu ma'a bintin wahidatin. So you can see now those numbers. Uh, number one, they come after the noun, and they are in full uh, agreement in terms of gender and the case ending. Equally, the same thing is for number two. Number two also, there is a way to say dual in Arabic, to say two items without mention number at all. So if I want to say uh, uh, two, um, two boys attended, so I say hadara waladani. So any ending already indicating to me that I'm talking about two boys. So I don't need two uh, number two numbers. But if you need, you put it after that. You say, Hadara waladani ithnani. So masculine, masculine. Any ending. And Hadarat bintani. Two girls attended. Okay. So Hadarat bintani Bintani ifnatani Any ending I saw two boys Ra'aitu waladaini Again that's an accusative Ra'aitu waladaini ifnaini I saw two boys And I saw two girls would be Ra'aitu bintaini ifnataini Again agreement and the numbers comes after the noun I sat with two boys, Jalastu Ma'a Waladaini Ifnaini, Aini Aini ending. And I sat down with two girls, Jalastu Ma'a Bintaini Ifnataini. So this is how number one, number two are used in, in, in the standing alone version. They need to come after the noun that they are modifying. Okay, that's number one and that's number two. We'll talk more about number one later on. So the second bracket is three to number nine. And now, this bracket, they will always be in opposite gender to what we are counting. Let's translate that in with example. So if you were counting three boys, three boys, you choose feminine version of number three to count the boys. So feminine number, you count the boys with. For instance, if you say three boys, you say thalathatu. And that is feminine number. That's feminine version of number three. Thalathatu. And then you say awladin. Three boys. Awlad means plural, meaning boys. And you see the construct here, thalathatu. That's feminine. And you have two vowels, well, only one vowel, single U, single Dhamma, because it's Mudov. This is what we call a possessive construct. And Mudov is a defined thing, so you kind of put in a win. So, Thalathatu. And then Auladin is in genitive, because it's possessive construct. So, Thalathatu Auladin. So, if you are using number four to number nine, it's the same. Aruba'atu. Auladin. Khamsatu Auladin. That's five boys. Sittatu Auladin. Six boys. Sabatu Auladin. And Thamaniatu Auladin. Tisatu Auladin. So they are from three to nine. That version of three to nine, you choose the feminine because you are counting uh, masculine. If you are counting feminine, you choose masculine number so three girls you say thalathu that's a fem that's a masculine number thalathu and they say banatin so three girls thalathu banatin 
arba'u banatin that's four girls five girls will be khamsu banatin six girls uh, sittu banatin seven girls sab'u banatin uh, eight girls thamani banatin and nine girls tis'u banatin and and, and and so on okay now let's look at uh, rules governing number 10 number 10 has two rules if uh, number 10 is standing alone so the rules will be the same as number 3 to number 9 meaning it will be opposite so if you want to say 10 boys you choose the feminine version of number 10 you will say uh, ashara 2 and then you say awladin ashara 2 that's feminine number ashara 2 awladin if you want to say 10 girls you say ashru that's masculine ashru and then banatin ashru banatin so but later on you will learn when we are in the compound numbers when the 10 is part of another number as is the case in number 11 to number 19 you will see what happened that it will be agreement we we'll talk about that during the next lesson inshallah here we are so don't have nightmares <laughs> and i hope you'll be able to digest it that's why we keep it short and uh, next time we'll deal with the number 11 to number 19 and the rules governing them inshallah in the meantime uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you are new to the uh, to the channel uh, and pass it to those who may be interested in learning the Arabic language. Thank you so much. See you next time. Insha'Allah. Ma'asalama. Ila liqa fi amanillah.